the tender process is underway, prompting an historic bid from the nation's capital. Australia's most influential names adorn the stands. Now Marnica Roval is hoping to host some of cricket's modern greats. Um, it'd be great to, ha to be considered in the same vein as you know, the SCG or the MCG up and down uh, the road. The nation's capital declaring its intent to make Perth's loss Canberra's gain. Any time elite content is on the table, um, we, we will certainly put up our hand and certainly want to be part of the conversation. Monica Roval, a stone's throw from Parliament House, has played host to Test Cricket only once, a 2019 demolition of Sri Lanka. The city has already secured the one-off women's Ashes test, but wants to add the fifth men's test to its summer schedule, providing a new stage on which to raise the Ashes urn. Australia and England, whether it's in the male space or in the female space, it's the pinnacle uh, of our sport. Monica's credentials have been enhanced during the pandemic hosting Big Bash games on short notice when Sydney plunged into lockdown. Certainly we're really proud of the role that we did play last year um, and again it probably bodes well for these types of conversations. Cricket purists hope the Ashes magic will ignite the passion of a new generation. You know our um, participation rates are going through the roof and there's a strong, strong correlation between that and bringing elite content to town. Having them play here would definitely bring more players at local level. Despite Canberra's enthusiasm, Hobart, Melbourne and Sydney have also launched bids to claim the test. Even Canberra's most powerful resident refusing to play a straight bat. I think it's good to share it around and uh, Tasmanians I know are absolutely keen so on, on this one um, I'm with Tassie. ACT Chief Minister Andrew Barr says he'd love to bring more world-class cricket to Canberra. A decision is imminent with Cricket Australia set to decide the venue in coming days. Preparation has already started, to be honest, because it's not one of those games you can just turn up and play. So um, we've shuffled a few things uh, internally to make sure that if we do get the nod, that we are ready to go. The champagne on ice for now until the winning bid is declared. Cameron Redden, Sky News, Canberra.